Alright, welcome back to Spork Sports YouTube channel. Uh, this is episode 2, and we'll be working on the Spork Sport Sedan budget track car build. So at the end of the last episode, we rolled this in. So we're going to go ahead and get it up on jack stands, uh, start taking apart this suspension, and hopefully we can work on getting some of that in tonight, kind of show you what we're swapping so it fits underneath this chassis and hopefully get it on the car to show you that it works. But uh, fingers crossed, hopefully it'll all work out and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get the car up and we'll start taking it apart. Now we're gonna get the jack out. Maybe you should say something uh, that. Minor details, jack stands are in this car. So Josh is gonna have to get up there and get them. So that's what we're gonna do. stands and this car has lock lug nuts on it uh, which sucks we are lucky though because Josh has the key so life is good today we have the key we don't have to try to go buy one so we can actually get all the wheels off tonight start taking the stuff apart and work on getting it on the other car so we'll just go ahead and start taking stuff apart here you go Okay, we still got the stupid lug nut stuck. Um, yeah, so now we got this homemade extension that was turned into a th what is that punch, punch. basically. I want to try to hammer it out with the hammer of Thor on the hydraulic press. The press is air powered and it's not running right now. Is that it? Oh crap! Oh no! Oh. oh. Easy Got enough. It. Easy enough. Okay. Um, super ghetto setup. Look, aftermarket. Awesome. Great. That's amazing. Okay, let's see. No aftermarket lower control arm. Let's go to the other side. Don't worry about this ghetto bondo job. Wow. Amazing. Well, what the heck? It's 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 stock. I'm so confused. Why does the other side have it? No, it's retarded. Oh, oh wait, what the? Why is there aftermarket lever on this side? Okay, people. Don't Super do ghetto. Get your crap straight. Even buy something from eBay or something like. Jeez, not good. But we will move on.
getting ready to get under this car and uh, work on it here. Yes, yes. So, yeah, hopefully we get to the camels easy. That's gonna be the fun part. How's that rolly thing? That's pretty good. Car's a little low. It is, it's so low. <coughs> Can you see it? So there's no bolts. Holding the plate in? Yeah, there's no plate. Is it just rubber? It's just rubber. Can you just two pull on it? Rubbers. Go up there and pull it. Yeah. And we'll have to, we'll have to cut that. Get it through? Yeah. Well, that was easy enough. Is there a knife? I don't have a screwdriver. I'm over there if you really want to get one, though. Here. It should just pop up. There's one. Oh, it's those little yeah, like, holding clips. Like the buffer. See that? That's what we're taking out. So you just pull them out and it releases it. And then you're good to go. I don't know where that second one flew somewhere. It's all right. We don't care about it. It's not going back on. So this is different. So, so this, yeah. little, this little cover for your gas tank. It's got two 10 millimeter bolts that we can see. One right here next to the fuel lines and stuff. And right here, there's another little cross member that runs up the body. And it's next to it. I have room under there. Oh god. <laughs> Dirt in the face. I'll grab it. Yes. So yeah, just a couple bolts holding it in. Ow. <laughs> Dirt in the face. Oops. I'll try to hold it so it doesn't fall on your face. You got crazy red eyes. Josh is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Any more over there? No. This side came down. Is it just the exhaust? Yeah, it's the exhaust. That's right. Maybe they'll be easy to get to. Man, look at that. It's not even connected. What am I jammed on? Oh, God. I don't know. Is that guy alive? What was, was it? Black Widow. No way. Right next to my head. I don't like it. Okay. What is this? I chopped it up. It, something with the fuel. Fuel pressure, kind of tank regulator, maybe. I, I don't know. Well, it's got lines that aren't even hooked up. If anybody's watching this, know what it is. What is it? So I sure don't know. Like, there's one line here. That's going into this piece is not even hooked up. Uh, awesome. <laughs> and there's two lines coming, one into here, one into the tank, and then there's this whole chingadera with a plug-in, little dog tail. There's something electric running in it. Well, you know what's so great? Dude, they're not even connected. There's no brake line bolts. Guys, it's getting even easier. So apparently, EKs don't have anything holding it together. Sweet. Or if there was, dude, that just saved us like half an hour. It's not there. So now we just like take it apart. Like now I'm afraid there's like more black widows in this web, man. Yeah, I believe it. I don't feel like dying. Oh yeah, well, race car. Yeah. Hashtag because race car. <coughs> Well, do, do they still have these? Pe oh, they do have those pieces. What pieces? Uh, so right here's that bolt that controls the arm. Oh yeah. That connects to the trailing arm, and then it still has those two big bolts here, probably the seventeens.
almost trying to scratch the paint. That adds five horsepower right there. Oh yeah. Ugh. Gold. This is the new. They look pretty close. I think the only thing different is how the brake lines loop and the e-brake. E-brake. The cable is definitely longer on that one. Yes. The real question is. Well, the cable on this one goes inside of the drum. The cable on this one is right there. Yeah. Is it possible you can switch them? Uh, you might just have to extend this one. Yeah. So it connects there. And this one's in the drum, like right in the middle. They're close. Let's get like this a little bit back. Look at that. That's pretty much lined up. So let's. You're talking about like an inch or two, maybe. We might be able to make them work. Yeah, there's a little bit of a difference. Yeah. Not too terribly much. Yeah, let's